What are you doing up there? Let's get down and get some work to do. What's going on, guys? It is a wonderful Sunday midday because I woke up late. Um, and today I wanted to show you around one of my vehicles that I got. I don't know if I've actually, I know I haven't told anybody about it on this channel. Um, but, and I have another one, another vehicle that I just bought that I need to show off, but that's going to be a little harder because it's at work, but whatever. So today I'm going to be doing the headlights on my 2003 Honda CRV. Um, little backstory behind it. I bought it back in, I think it was March. It had to be April. It had to be April, but, uh, I bought it. The dude thought it needed a cylinder head because the coil pack tube had fused to the inside of the cylinder or spark plug tube, um, which I can show you here. So this is a different cylinder head. This is a cylinder head for the Civic for that engine over there. Um, but basically inside here, it had fused to the inside of this and they had poked a hole through it trying to chisel it out. So what I did is I took a hole saw, <laughs> a legit hole saw, and then, um, just bored it out, cleaned it up, and then I uh, put a patch in there for that cylinder, or for that little tube, and then um, so oil wouldn't get into the spark plug hole and fell out the plug. Uh, the dude gave me new coils and spark plugs, and I just slapped it in and uh, basically fixed it for free. Um, I have done some other things to it. I put a door lock actuator in it. It's got brand new brakes, brand new tires. Uh, did an oil change. I put a VTEC actuator on it because it was clogged. Uh, but it runs great. It's got 144,000 miles on it. I bought it with 142,000 miles on it. And yeah, it's an awesome car. I just used a rust remover on one of the wheels um, because apparently a caliper had seized and they, that's the reason why they put new brakes in the rear. So it's got new calipers in the rear. Um, but yeah, it's been an awesome vehicle. It's in our favorite color that we are looking for, the green. Um, and I've got some later, well, I've got an 06 light here for it um, that I kind of want to put on the rear taillights, but I'm going to wait till I get the other. Uh, but today we're doing headlight assemblies on this because I don't really like doing the headlight restoring process. It doesn't really last that long for me in the times that I've done it. It's too much work. I go on Rock Auto, I buy the fucking set of headlights for under a hundred bucks and call it a day, you know? And they last longer and they're they're beautiful, brand new. Um, but other than that, I got a new bike. Got a new Kawasaki uh, Z650. It's awesome. I haven't really ridden my Harley that much this year. Uh, mainly because it's super loud and I don't know. It's more of like a weekend rider. It's not like an everyday rider where this Kawasaki is definitely an everyday rider so comfortable i bought it off a buddy he didn't really ride it that much and i've been getting a lot of use out of it but uh other than that i have some other parts here for front bumper steering wheel um i got a hitch off of a car or another crv at the junkyard and i got some other trim pieces sitting here um for the other vehicle that i have at work which is a 2006 crv i bought it off a guy just this tuesday um Bought it for 600 bucks. Needs a radiator and a battery. That's literally it. He um, he noticed his trans cooler line connection was leaking and he tried to tighten it and it was rusted and it broke off. Or was that? Sorry, my dog barked. Um, so he tried to tighten that rusted connection and it just broke off. Um, and he was like, it couldn't move. He didn't try to start it. He didn't try to do anything. Ran great before that. The dude put $3,000 into the car with new struts, uh, a bunch of suspension pieces, outer tie rods, ball joints, that sort of deal. Um, so I just put a new battery in it, uh, scanned it for codes, didn't really have anything. It might have something once we get it driving, of course. Um, but I ordered the radiator. The radiator's here. I'm going to get that done sort of this week, hopefully. Um, other news, I actually <laughs> broke my pinky toe on on Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday night, that sucked ass, it's like broken, broken, it's like clean break off to the side kind of deal, yeah, so that sucks, so we'll see what my, what I can do, if I can work kind of deal with the restrictions that the doc gave me, um, 
But that one's going to be an easy flip. I got a bunch of trim pieces for it off of uh, two CRVs at the junkyard yesterday. It's really fun, really easy. Uh, cost me about, I would say the parts for the new CRV cost me about 130 bucks, which all in with the tow, the car, the battery, I'm probably were sitting around a thousand, you know, dollars for the flip. And I think I can probably get three to five for it. And But we'll see. I'll clean it up a little bit. I'll try to walk you through the process if I can get footage. Um, I started a new dealership back in January and it's been awesome. I've been one of the top earners in the shop. Everybody's really cool. Um, but other than that, let's get started taking this bad boy apart, all right? It's super easy to do the headlights on these. You do have to remove the bumper, but even if you are a novice or don't really understand cars that well, taking off a bumper is not that hard, and a lot of times you don't have to do it all the way, so you don't have to take, you don't have to take everything off. But a lot of cars nowadays, you got to take off the front bumper to access headlights, headlamp assemblies, uh, radiators, condensers, all that type of stuff. And it's really not that hard. It's a lot of push pins and a couple bolts, and that's that's pretty much it. But I'll try to walk you through it and film as best I can. Uh, maybe you'll see my little boot I'm wearing because my pinky toe. Uh, and I know what you guys are going to say. Oh, just tape it and send it. My mom's got a lot of feet problems. I'm not trying to be like that. So... I'll wear the boot. A nice thing about this car is that I have a key fob now that I actually, I fixed the door lock actuator last night, so now it works. So now I can unlock my car without even having to put the key in, which is a luxury I don't have on any of my vehicles. <laughs> So essentially here, we're going to be taking out the push pins all along the top here, um, a few bolts here, here, and of course behind the bumper here, and then under here, um, normally I think I'm, I'm going to try and do this half, I'm going to try and take the bumper off halfways, so I'm not going to try and take off all the stuff on the bottom, I may have to, uh, but we'll get to there later. But there's an 8 or a 7 in here. I think it's an 8. It's just like directly right there. You got to take that out to allow this to come off. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to get after that. But you see how foggy these are? You know, it's just like... It's old and crusty and I don't really like it. But here's my engine bay, I guess. It's dirty too. But uh, yeah, it's solid. Shout out to the C10 right there. So you pop those top, off, top ones off, you take that and move it over here. So essentially, so there's two up here and I'm going to go take those nuts out. So here we are down here. I have an eight here. I think it's an eight. I just did this yesterday to another uh, CRV in the junkyard. Yep, and I'd be using my electric impact, but I lost the bit for it, and uh, don't really feel like looking for it. But I'm kind of doing this with a lot of my home tools right now because I didn't get to go to work and get my tools after I broke my pinky toe. So here we have an eight. I'm gonna set that right on the tire so I know where it is. We're gonna go over to the other side. And do the same thing right up here. Another one right on the tire there. <sighs> then all you do is you get this thing a little yank, pull that out, take you over to the other side, come over here and yank that one. I should be able to reposition this too better. And you pull it down, pull it down. This is basically the same thing on a lot of other cars. Uh, the Chevy Malibu from like 2005 to like 13 or something. I don't remember. Um, but it seems to want to pull down a little. I'm going to actually try and work with that. So essentially I'm just trying to pry it back just enough where I can get at the bolts. 
for this metal bracket here and luckily it's not that rusted a lot of them are end up rusting and uh, you gotta buy a new one but there is a bolt on the side here that I'll show you there's a bolt right down here on the side that gray one right there and then there's two up top and there should be one right behind there it's kind of hard to see but let me get after it so for this one i'm grabbing a 10 with a six inch extension and a ratchet just to get at it if I was at the shop, I'd be using my electric ratchet, making this super easy. But I'm not at the shop, and uh, here we are. But you don't want to lose any of these bolts, because if you lose them, and or break any, the headlight will want to bounce around. On the diagram, it shows five bolts, but I think that some of them are just the ones that bolt to the headlight from the bracket feel like I'm just missing something. This bracket is probably, feels like it's held in by another bolt there. Sorry, this is like anything. Oh wow, yeah, there's two bolts here. Weird. All right, so I'll take out that other one. I've done quite a few headlights like this on RDX's and NDX's because back in Texas I worked at an Acura dealer and we had a vandalism uh, we had a lot of vandalism that smashed a bunch of headlights and taillights and uh, people there was like a, somebody put a pickaxe through the fucking roof of one it was crazy but um, I got paid a lot to do these headlights on uh, a bunch of Acuras so I'm sort of used to it and this is how I did it at the dealer um, some of the other guys like to take the whole bumper down but I could get these things knocked out in 20 minutes get paid the whole hour and a half and uh fucking sit pretty well we all know how that Acura dealer went down bunch of dickheads but uh here we are now okay, so there was five bolts uh, the description says five bolts I didn't see that one, so here we are. And it should just rip right out. Yep, there we go. So I'm gonna move you over here. And I'm just gonna move this. I'm gonna lift up with this. I'm gonna lift it out of the way. I'm gonna get at the back here. And I'm gonna take off the headlight plug. I'm gonna take out the turn signal bulb. And I'm going to, one last bulb, I believe. Yep, right up here. Take out this running light bulb, which is burnt out actually, but I don't have any bulbs here, so this bracket will want to sit in the bumper. So you just gotta pull it away. And there we go. Headlights out. So on the bottom of here you have this bracket. It's very common with all Hondas. Um, usually there's a side bolt here. Usually there's a side bolt here, but uh, this one just has a clip. And there's one bolt there holding it on. So I'm going to take that off. Sorry for the ass shot. Now that's off, you just pull it away. Usually you want to pull up and out. Here we go. This thing's actually really clean, which is I'm really happy with. Because uh, I really was hoping that they weren't going to be rusted. But see this old piece of shit, old grossness? I'll be right back with the new one. Here we have the nice, clean, brand new one. I'm keeping this plastic on until we get it fully secured. But I'm gonna take this, put it upside down, grab my bracket, figure out which way it goes. Goes like this. Slap this bad boy over here. and now we just put her back the way she was that's pretty much it i mean it's really not that hard um really anybody can do these kind of things you just gotta have just a couple tools and a little bit of willpower 
This one actually came with a headlight. Um, it did not come with the parking lamp bulb or turn signal bulb. So just keep that in mind. You can buy ones with the bulbs in it. I didn't because for some reason they think that a do like $2 bulbs are worth like 50 bucks. It's fucked up. Doesn't make any sense. Yep. Pull this back. I'm trying to get it in there without scratching anything. Uh, which can kind of be a trouble. But just go slowly and pull it out. Be gentle and what the fuck not. Do that. Plug this bulb in. Okay, so I just realized that uh, I just did this whole I did this whole headlight and uh, my iPhone storage was full, so uh, it didn't capture any of that, but that's fine. That's all right. You already saw the other one. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, I was just about to put this bumper on, and that's uh, pretty much all I was going to do, but that's pretty much it um, for the whole process. It's not really hard, and don't feel intimidated if uh, an instruction manual tells you that you have to take the bumper off. It's really not that hard on many vehicles. It's just a couple bolts, but... All you do, put it back on. You want to lift up the center first. And get it secured in the front. And then you want to come around to the sides and uh, put that in. Because if you don't, it's not going to line up over here. Yeah, the plastic's just old. And, uh, there you go. Doesn't that look so much better? It's crazy. And, I mean, you can get close to this with, um, you know, like, sanding it and stuff and using the compounds to make it better, but you can't get, like, basically new, you know? I mean, you can't get new-new. This is new new, so that's what I call a fucking way better and it takes less time too. Like replacing these headlights, it would have taken me at least th two to three times the time to just sand the headlights and clean them up. So like I think I've only been out here for like 20 minutes or something. Watch this video be like an hour. And I'm like, what? It's good enough and if it comes out, it comes out. Other side. <laughs> So a couple uh, tabs came loose because earlier I had to take off the lower shield because one of the bolts came out on this driver's side. And uh, I'm just going to go put those in right now. That's pretty much what you would have had to do anyways if you wanted to get the full bumper off. There's like six push pins under there that you'd take off and then the bottom would come off. It's really not hard. I just really didn't want to get on the ground, especially with my foot. But uh, here we are. So I'm going to reassemble the top. headlight it completes the look of the car it just makes it look new again it needs a wash bad but um this wheel right here had a bunch of iron on it i just spray like just a quick spray and it's back to normal but interior is super clean um except for the floors i need to shampoo them and stuff i replaced this sorry I placed that piece yesterday from one with the junkyard because the previous time at the junkyard I uh, hit it with something and that's not great but yeah so I'm just gonna walk over here and uh, make sure that all the lights work
so in total today we did those headlights it's super easy it took me if i wasn't filming it probably would have taken me like 20 15 minutes other than that i have i'm going to try and film videos on the flip car because i thought that'd be a really good idea um kind of taking after every other youtuber and uh mainly i know legit street cars is doing a flip series this year um but yeah i think it's really fun i'll go over that more later on this week hopefully if i have any time to work on it i only work three days this week if i work with you know if i can work with my boot um but other than that that's pretty much it and uh the car looks way better it's gonna light up more of the road because it's not like all fogged up and uh honestly it's easier than just fucking doing the sanding procedure so i don't know why you wouldn't do it but uh other than that, I don't really have any new updates, but uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Hit me up on Instagram on dangerously underscore cautious. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you want to see anything else, drop it down in the comments below and uh, I'll see what I can do. Um, sorry for the sporadic upload schedule, you know? I wish I was a professional YouTuber. I love doing it, but you know, here we are. But love you guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.